Hey guys, welcome again to Honey's Kitchen. Thank you for always and always watching on my videos. For those who are new on my channel, welcome. Our recipe for today is white loaf and rolls. If you would like to know how to create this, keep on watching. recipe you need 5 teaspoon of yeast, 2 teaspoon of white sugar, and another 3 teaspoon of white sugar, 1 cup of warm water, 2 teaspoon of salt, half cup of melted lard, 4 cups of water and 14 cups of all-purpose flour if you didn't catch up all the list of ingredients I will write it down in the description below so first we're gonna activate our yeast we're gonna put in our 2 teaspoon of sugar into our warm water You stir it out and then you sprinkle all your yeast. Stir it again. And let it stay for a few minutes until your yeast will bloom. That means it's activated. And then into your flour, we're gonna put in our Three tablespoon of sugar, our salt, and then we're gonna mix it properly. And then you're gonna make a hole in the middle of your flour. It's like making a well. And then once your yeast has a bubbles on top, it means it is activated. So we can pour in now our yeast into the middle of our flour. And then we're gonna measure half cup of our lard. And then finally, we're gonna put in our four cups of water. And then we're gonna mix it slowly, starting from the middle going out so that all the ingredients are slowly incorporated with each other. After putting the water and putting all the ingredients, I'm gonna mix it with hand mixer. In this way, it's easier for me to break down the lumps. So after using the mixer, once it has less water on it, I'm gonna work it in my hands to fully incorporate the ingredients with each other. it in a flat surface so it's easy for us to knead it properly.
filling with grease our container with some lard so your dough it will not stick on it and then after greasing our container we're gonna put in our dough in the middle of it and then we're gonna cover it with dish cloth or a big towel so it will be warm inside and so I'm just done pushing the gas down I just forget to film it but after I leave it for an hour it rises up to the top while covering it so I push it down and this is how it looks like and then we're gonna cover it again and for our second proofing for about an hour okay so after an hour it gonna rise so nicely up to the top and then we are gonna push it down slowly to remove the gas and then we're gonna divide our dough into our pans now after you push in the gas you're gonna remove this and then put it in a flat surface working area and then before dividing our dough we're gonna grease first our bread pans with a lard so make sure you're gonna grease it properly so the bread is not sticking into your pants. And then it's time to divide our dough and put it to our baking pans. For one loaf of it, I want to experiment putting raisins on, on it, so we need a rolling pin so we can spread all the raisins layered on your loaf. So this is our final layer of raisins. I want lots of raisins in it and then fold it back again and then this time gonna press it all together if the resin is coming out you just gonna press it and then let's cut it into half Make it a small circle. And this one we're gonna divide it to make it a rolls.
then after this, we're gonna cover it with this cloth and we're gonna wait until it rises up to the top for about two hours. So after an hour, our dough rises, but we still need to let it rest and rise it more up to the top before we gonna bake it. So we are gonna cover it again and some tips I turn on my oven underneath to make this area warmer because today I don't have the sun so it will be easy for my dough to rise so the oven will release heat around so we're gonna cover it again and wait until it rises so after an hour so it looks like this it's rising and then it's time to cook it so I set the oven at 350 degrees we are gonna put in the oven together but we are gonna cook the rolls for 30 minutes on the bun and uh, the loaf for an hour so this is the finished product of a recipe today the white loaf and rolls if you didn't catch up all the list of ingredients, I will write it down in the description below. Before you go, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and push the notification bell so you will be updated when I will upload another amazing recipe. Thank you again for watching everyone. Stay healthy, stay, stay safe, have a good day and i will see you again on my next video